All right, I'm gonna use some electrical wire and then duct tape it onto the bolt. So I just feed it up through this hole and then it's gonna come out over here. All right, and this operation duct tape is your friend. So we'll be able to shove the bolt and the, um, whatever the hell you call this thing, up in there. And we want the bolt to stay in the washer. So I'm gonna duct tape it in there from the back side. Won't hurt anything if there's duct tape up inside there for forever. I just don't wanna get any duct tape on the bottom side here because that needs to be up against the car. So once that's duct taped into place, then we use a little more duct tape on the wire coming out from under the bumper and just duct tape this to the threads. Now this is a wire, so I'm gonna wrap the wire around the threads a little bit just so it gets a little better grip, kinda spread it out, get it into the threads here and then put some duct tape over it. That way it's got the duct tape to hold it on and it also has the wires riding in the grooves of the threads to keep it in place. And it doesn't make it too much fatter than the bolt itself. So the bolt will still fit through the hole. That shouldn't, uh, that should stay on there until I take it off. So that's, that's your operation. Then you just twist it sideways and shove it up the hole and pull it through and let's see if that works. Push, put the bolt and washer up into the hole. And just pull, pull it through. Oh yeah, done. That was the easiest thing in the world. So that is the uh, wire pulling method of getting a bolt through a hole that you can't get to the back of.